All right, welcome back to the channel, folks. On today's vlog, we're here with a couple of mountain biking buddies heading towards Santa Fe Dam for a quick leisure ride. We just kind of had a blast at the bike park here in El Monte. Now we're heading out. Let's get it. Had a nice time here. A couple of us fell down, but that's okay. That's part of the uh, experience, isn't it? That's part of the learning experience, should I say. All right, all right. Speed it on by here. Trying to get to the bike path. Let's get it. mean jump there. Most of the times, sidewalk riding is funner than the street riding because it's just safer. Here we go. Go ahead, Martin. We're gonna be here till it till it stops. That way. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, we're gonna be here till it stops. You guys go ahead. We're all gonna go. Just go here till the stoplight. Around 20 miles per hour. Go ahead, Tom. Because I don't want to lose light. Here we go. Yeah, she's gone. Crystal's gone. <laughs> we all actually have mid-drives today, from what I'm noticing. I'm a BBSO2, Crystal's a BBS HD, Tom is a BBS HD, Martin's BBSO2. Oh no, Chain. And then, um, hey, it's okay, it's okay. They're okay. Yeah, we won't be long. Yeah. Snaps. What are you, a nine speeder? Yeah. I thought it, if anything, it, if it would snap, it would snap at the, uh, yeah. Not here. Sometimes I have spare chains. But today might not be that day. <laughs> I don't have. Well, speaking of mid drives, this is the one downside of a mid drive. If your chain breaks, I don't know how his broke. Okay, if his chain breaks, um, you're s screwed <laughs> if you don't have extra links or chains. He, um, he, had, he had everything he needed, but you know, it's time consuming to, uh, to put a chain, to put chains back together. So he's, uh, he said he's gonna turn back Hopefully uh, meet up with us later on. But yeah, we're losing light. Crystal and uh, Ryan already went. We're a little bit of a split group today, but that's okay. They uh, insisted we uh, we go without them. And I thought I had spare chains until uh, until I had to look for it. I, I just realized I don't have spare chains. Crazy. But yeah, this is a nice view. Very nice view. So that's it. If you had a mid drive, guys, make sure you have some spare chains, spare links, and the tool remover and the linker basically to kind of uh, assist you on your mid drive e bike. Because you are going to need your chains. Your bike is useless without chains. Whereas 
rear hub motors, you can continue your ride just by throttling. This VVSO2 is probably faster than my uh, VVS HD on my uh, Z1. Like if you can see, we're going about 30 miles per hour here. 31. 32. Whereas the other one, I could only get it up to about 30 miles per hour, and that's a VBS HD. It's all about the chain ring and sprocket. All that things come into play, for sure. There they are. Turn left onto Arrow Highway. So uh, Martin's heading back. He had a chain issue. Yeah, but we could continue. There, he's all, he's also hanging back with it. Yeah, let's roll. You never look back, huh? <laughs> I was looking at you. Okay. <laughs> they had troubles, so they'll, they'll head back. No, uh, uh, Tom's accompanying um, uh, Martin. Yep. Too bad. But here we are, pretty much at Santa Fe Dam. He said, oh, this is gonna take too long to link together, because it wasn't the link. It was an actual chain broke. What's that? They, they had the tool. He had the tool. It's just, he's like, oh, it's gonna, it, it takes a while. <laughs> Have you been here, Ryan? Okay, it's nice. Uphill. We're gonna try a top speed. But, but this one is uh, 31. Uh, that should be around 34 if she pushes it. Yeah. Uh, both. Because, uh, yeah, well, what's, what's this one for both? 38. Okay, that's fast, yeah. And th that's the fray, which one? The 4,000? The fray 4,000? Okay. All right, so let's just... Uh, Let's try max everything, if you guys want. And then the first one that gets to that, past the uh, the green freeway sign on the left. Yeah? All right, uh, you, you control your bike however you want to. Just be careful. Crystal, start at the, uh, we'll start where Crystal is. <laughs> Let's start, yeah. Okay, on, on my go. Ready, set, go. Oh, wow, Crystal, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Crystal's VVS HD. I think I think Ryan Ryan's gonna get us in the top end. <laughs> Ryan's gonna get us in the top end. <laughs> Come on, that fray. But I have Crystal's VVS HD so far. And I just have to shift gears. Whew. He said that. Yeah, he got there first. Yeah, buddy. But I toasted Crystal's BBS HD and I have a BBSO2. Woo! That was fun. That was an exercise. But that fray he said is only 48 volts. This is a 52 volt BBSO2. Um, I don't know what he has. I think that's a Bafang Ultra that he has. But that, for torque, we had him on torque. But on the top speed, he definitely got us in the top speed. Fun, fun. Whew. That was awesome, Ryan. It took you a while. <laughs> yeah, your bike took a while, right? Yeah, it was No wonder. But yeah, your top speed is, is fast. 34? But it was, uh, yeah, it was enough. All right, we're gonna make it right. Some off-roading fun. Here we go. Wee. Nice scenery here. Hardly anyone up here. We're 
we're in the back end of the Santa Fe Dam, literally. Ooh. Yes, sir. Oh, so sandy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> So, so which motor is that? Oh, the Ultra, okay. Is it like the 600 or something? A M600? Oh, so, okay, got it, cool. How long have you had it? Oh, this year, nice. Yeah. I think we're gonna sell our RX soon, I think. The RX? The red one? Well, because cause these are our main off-road vehicles. <laughs> that one is like, it tries to be, you know? But it's not. <laughs> uh, 32 miles per hour max, yeah. Santa Fe Dan. Getting dark. Let's, uh... Let's kind of uh, do a parameter of the uh, the body of water, then we'll head out. But yeah, I love I love this I love this bike and everything that it has to offer. There's like zero people here. It's crazy. I gotta rewire everything when I get back. All right, uh, let's roll. Let me turn on my headlamp. That's all I have, my headlamp. So moving along here, heading back. I think we're making pretty good time. Since there's three of us left, uh, I feel so bad. There were, there were other, like four other people who kind of like peeled off, decided to do their own thing. And obviously uh, Martin, God bless. Hopefully you've uh, hopefully you fixed your chains by now. Sometimes you'll see coyotes here and and jackrabbits. Got lifeguard on a boat, I think. Since we're on the topic of like cons a little bit of this uh, Bafang Mid Drive is. Yeah, you have to rely on chains. And you kind of get a little bit less clearance on your um, on your bottom clearance because that's where your motor's hanging off. But aside to that, guys, I, I really recommend these mid drives. It's just so fun. And I've said it before, it's gonna take a real good, um, it's gonna take a real good rear hub for me to get another rear hub bike. Oh, it's flickering, huh? Yeah, that, that's happened to me uh, last ride. <laughs> Here, check it, yeah, check it out. There yeah. Now we are heading back on today's ride. Gotta love biking Mondays. Hardly a soul out here. It's just more enjoyable. Man, those guys are amazing. Even road cyclists are faster than we are. You good? Okay. Uh, the same way we got here, we're going back. It, it's mostly bike path, but we do have to get on the street sometime. All right, folks, get outside, get yourself an e-bike, explore different places, cover a lot of ground, see some scenes that you never would have seen otherwise with a regular bike. I'm gonna cut the video here. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more content. This is Julian signing out, guys. Don't forget to check out my useful links in the description below. 
for additional discounts on a DIY build, Batfang Super 73, or Aerial Rider. Help out the channel, guys. Like and subscribe. Share and comment. All that good stuff. Happy holidays in advance, or belated, depending on the time that you see this video. We out. That's a wrap. See you guys in the next one. Peace.